today's date is December 7th, 2020. This is Adrian, who came to see me for a variety of problems, but the one we're discussing on this video is breathing and what we did. You want to mm -hmm. tell the viewer what happened? Yeah. So um, I've had breathing trouble, shortness of breath for a long time. Seen an orthodontist, you know, they were recommending to break the jaw, move it forward to open up the airway because I have a slight, you know, narrowing of the airway when I sleep, which was making me not sleep deeply, wake up and feel tired. And so I came to see um, Dr. Rowan. And one of the things that he found was a disruption in my pelvis, in the muscles. What muscles are those, Dr. Rowan? We call it energy interference in your pelvis. In my pelvis right. from um, extensive sexual abuse as a child. And so he asked if he could... Sorry? I said bless you. Oh. It's very... I'm touched that, you know, you're willing yeah. to talk about this openly. That's what it is. And so many people go through sexual abuse and there's such a stigma, but it's, it was such a vital piece. It, it was the piece that changed my breathing, as I'll explain now. So he asked if he could shoot some ozone into my pelvis, into those muscles to release that tension, or the, the energetic block. And so I said yes, and it was uh, difficult. It was painful, but I went home that night as I was falling asleep, I tried to inhale. I noticed that like, I, I, I woke up. I was, in a, I was almost falling asleep and I woke up because I couldn't breathe. And I felt like I couldn't, it was so shallow. I thought I was, I was almost getting into a panic. And I finally went to sleep the whole next day. I was um, not breathing well, shallowly. I was concerned, you know, was it like COVID? No, it was too early to, to have COVID, you know, from, the previous day's exposure. Um, but then all of a sudden, uh, about 24 hours after I got on the shot, I took an inhale and I could breathe more deeply than I'd breathed for in memory, in living memory. And that's just continued. And I was able to breathe fully. And I'm able to breathe fully now, you know, a couple months later in a way I haven't in, in living memory, like I said. And I'm also sleeping better. I'm not waking up as many times a night, maybe once, maybe twice a night, usually once, whereas before it was, you know, three, four times a night. And so I'm sleeping better. I have more energy. I can do things, you know, with breath as breath is vital. And it's just completely changed the way that I interact with my breath and then therefore my life because of um, the way that dramatically changed. And it was an incredible 24 hour period and it's still going strong. Thank you for sharing your very personal story. I yeah. really appreciate this. And I may post this on YouTube. Yeah. If, Thank you. I hope it helps people. Thank because, you. you know, I was going to get my jaw broken, maybe, to, to try to change this. And there was no guarantee there. And that was not the issue. Wow. Well, and that probably would have made you a lot worse. I don't know. I mean, it could have helped open the airway, but it wasn't a structure. There might still be like a still bit of a structural thing. But the thing that was, you know, preventing me from sleeping, um, at least to that degree, and breathing was the energetic block in the pelvis. For the viewer, I just want to tell the viewer mm -hmm. something, because there will be women watching this. We're talking about energy disturbance down in this area, mm -hmm. and a sexual abuse is, an, is assault, mm -hmm. and that assault leaves toxic energy in the nerves mm -hmm. in the area, whether mm -hmm. it's a sexual assault or another assault. It could be a car accident. A scar can leave a bad energy. And simply injecting that area with procaine or a local anesthetic can reset the nerves so that um, energy starts to pass. The discipline is called neural therapy, and I've added to it by following it with ozone, which helps even more. And I'm really, I'm just jazzed really touched at your story mm -hmm. and I really appreciate you sharing yeah. it with me. It's been life changing. So if it can change somebody else's life, you know, that's one of the reasons I'm on this earth. Thank you. Thank you. Feels to be able to breathe fully. Yeah, I, I'm so excited. Yeah. You, you were awakening short of breath and flight or fight, right? Yeah. So, I mean, like in panic mode before, um, before this. Not in panic mode, but my body would go into a bit of fight or flight as my airway narrowed and uh, my body started losing oxygen. So then I would wake up. I wouldn't go into the deeper level, levels of sleep and stay there. Um, so I had deep circles under my eyes. 
I was tired all the time, you know. It got better when I went on thyroid medication, but it still wasn't great. And Did I would the wake up. injection fix the circles under your eyes? Um, as I started sleeping more and only waking up uh, ah. maybe once a night instead of three or four times a night, the circles started going away every day. I wake up and they'd be less and less. And now they're hardly there well, in comparison. No, I don't see them. I exactly. Yeah, they're exciting. hardly there in comparison. So that's that exciting. is another benefit that yeah. sleeping better, you know, like it's all down to the breathing for me. Thank you. Mm -hmm.